Hello everyone. Welcome to ITPK. In today's video, we will see the steps on how to disable Internet Explorer and redirect it to Microsoft Edge using Microsoft Intune. Microsoft already has announced that Internet Explorer will no longer be supported. After the Internet Explorer support ends, the Internet Explorer 11 will no longer be receiving an update from Microsoft. Microsoft is recommending users to switch to Microsoft Edge for modern browsing experience with faster and more secure solutions. Microsoft Edge also has a built-in Internet Explorer mode, so we can switch to Internet Explorer to access our legacy websites or the apps that is required. After configuring IE mode, we can disable Internet Explorer 11 as a standalone browser without affecting IE mode functionality across the organization. It is the time to disable Internet Explorer for your Windows devices. So we will use configuration profile to disable Internet Explorer and redirect our traffic to Microsoft Edge. To log in into Intune, please use this URL intune.microsoft.com and you must be a global administrator or Intune service administrator to perform these steps. Once you are logged in into Intune, go to Devices. Under Devices, scroll down and go to Configurations. In the Configurations, we are here supposed to create a policy Click on create and go to new policy here. Select Windows 10 and later as a platform here. And in the profile type, select settings catalog. Now click create. And here we're supposed to give a meaningful name. Log Internet Explorer. Okay. Now let's set the same description here. Click next. In the configuration setting, let's go to Add settings. In the settings, let's find disable internet. This will get us to administrative templates, Windows Component, and Internet Explorer. Let's go there. And here we have to choose disable Internet Explorer 11 as a standalone browser. So this setting is related to device right this is device based setting so check this option now let's go to search and find internet explorer integration let's search for this here select microsoft edge in the microsoft edge please select configure internet explorer integration this is also the device based setting now let's go ahead and search for enterprise mode right in the enterprise mode uh select microsoft edge now select here configure enterprise mode site list if you want to keep both settings then you need to create separate configuration profiles the one is disable internet explorer and the second profile could be enable internet explorer mode in microsoft edge with enterprise mode site list to keep this video short and simple for you we are adding all required setting into the same configuration profile so now close this and go to disable i explorer as a standalone browser enable this and we don't want to get notification for this no, uh, notify that internet explorer 11 browser is disabled so we don't need a notification next configure the enterprise mode site list to fill in the url of our legacy site information let's enable this and here we need to fill in the url for example we can say as colon double slash idwpk.com 
this is just to explain you you can enter url according to your requirement okay we can use enterprise mode site list manager tool that let us create edit and export our organization's site list and also specify that the site renders using the enterprise mode or the default mode the next option is to enable internet explorer integration setting make sure the internet explorer mode is selected after configuring all the settings click next again go to next now let's add uh, the required group so you can add here the group that needs to get this configuration settings to be applied you can select that and also you can add all user and all devices here and here you also have the option to exclude any group if you want to exclude here so let's go to next here you can review all of the setting you have set up and you are okay with all of these settings you can click create this will take few seconds to create the profile and policy the policy is created let's click refresh we will get the policy in the policy list blog internet explorer perfect once this policy will get propagated across the devices then user will no longer be able to launch internet explorer but their legacy site will open and will work with microsoft edge once the devices are synced with Intune or checked in when Intune properly, you will get all of the reports here. And please make sure the group you have added into included group must have those users or devices that needs to pick up this setting. Once this setting is applied, and if the user will try to open the legacy Internet Explorer, that will directly open the Microsoft Edge in front of them as we have applied the integration policy from microsoft in june users will not be able to open internet explorer any more because they are getting redirected to microsoft edge that's all about today's video well, how to disable the legacy microsoft internet explorer the support is already stored by microsoft and how to integrate internet explorer traffic or internet explorer settings to microsoft edge to get the results for your legacy sites and also you can get the new experience i hope you enjoyed this video thanks for watching keep watching and don't forget to subscribe take care bye